it's time to do haunted house it's currently at 75 percent so if i drag it over for a whole day and then some couple of hours it's most likely going to go to 100 percent and 150 percent and that's where the good stuff starts rolling in blue stash dungeon keeper level 40 i have uh hopes that this is pretty easy we got hermit which is pretty easy and kill blue stash last which might also be easy i have no idea what this means complete resentment can i pick him up guess not Looks like I can't damage him. Oh, no wonder he's full Aji. Oh, interesting. He revives. Not for long. Oh, level 81. Very nice. And I gotta say, dude, this gotta be the easiest dungeon I have ever done. Boostash Mustache coming in at 4.7. Interesting. It's got a lot of items to do but it's also very easy the only thing that's not like really great is the beginning kind of long boostoplasm ah it's 6.3 i guess all that's left is to split up next time and go ahead and complete duo that would be the way to go ah uh, this is gonna be a lot harder than it would look like because this man drops 30 percent erosion i think i'm gonna give up on the duo dream because this is starting to become a waste of time because this is the third time i died yeah baby level 82 we got pandora's box which i use a lot and unfortunately no mustache except boo plasm we all know what that is the second tier doesn't increase the amount of hp that gets healed except it makes it one turn faster all right i'll take that next is mold which i don't care i barely use treasure key i guess next time a great upgrade would be is at level 137 <laughs> Oh my, I haven't used bribery at all. Ah, it was stuck at here. But soul capture. Actually, why do you even have soul capture? I can't use it ever because it's PvP resources and I'm Iron Man. You. Yeah, Dank Villain just joined the level 80 club. All we got to do is wait for Ara. This time around, we got three stashes. We should be expecting this spell, the lifting word at when we hit level 80. Hmm, pretty okay. Pretty okay, but these are the two spells that I'm really looking forward to. My oh my, what do we have here? Al Howling Gubdubby. It's a compatible with pet. I'm pretty sure this is a skin, as it states in the category ceremonial pet, and it only costs 17,000. Let me double check, and it's like 0.05% drop chance during Halloween. And I'm not sure about like these, like Minnowang. If anybody knows, let me know why the acquisition is zero, and can you even get these? Or is this like only able to get it and like some Minnow Terror Island event or something like that? And just in a blink of time, the 12 keys that I shared with my team have been consumed. 13 dungeons ran, and this is all the Lutaroni that we have taken out of it, including 32 Boostash Mustaches. Boostash Mustache, obviously, including 4 from the achievement. Boostoplasm, which we got 172 off, but we did get 48. I don't know how many we got, but we got a bunch of Boostoplasm from the achievements and it is used in a lot a handful of ingredients but it's level 40 to maybe lower 50s and it'll be just used for most likely to get experience in my professions but very good nonetheless these quon eyes 232,000 for the lot doesn't matter i'll throw it into bank and forget about it and i pretty much farm this for the boostash mustache which also has a bunch of things that can craft with it and it's becoming evident that uh, the corners where i farmed a bunch of handful of creatures and we get in a, a lot of resources are now starting to catch up with us and we can pretty much craft whatever we want in bulk quantity totaling 851,000. let's move on to where i was going originally before i stopped by here i have arrived at kania plains 
aka Kania Fields mainly because it is 73% bonus and it's also level 50. We just took down a single Bazinga. It has some unique resources that we are now actively looking for and we shall try out a Plains Larva. I will take fights with uh, creatures. Let's go with this one. It's level 165 total. We should easily handle these. Obviously we have experienced the Bazinga. Now we shall see what the plane larva is up to and the uh, skin. I like to try out the creatures because you never know there was there could be really really hard creatures that we cannot handle and there there could be like really easy higher level creatures that are so weak that we can farm them like jellies jellies are pretty much in the middle we did that jelly farm some time back the experience was amazing we leveled up i think I believe 20 or 25 times obviously with all of my characters combined and then there's the sufokian shoreline which is level 40 and the creatures will kick your teeth in and not think twice so i avoid areas like sufokin the jelly peninsula is great the scarab leaf plain which we outlived is also amazing the monica forest is meh to say the least and stuff like that but let's go ahead and check up the portal anomalies anything around we got Churtle beach level 40 ah this would be a great time to farm the Churtle beach but we we do need to get a quest for it so that's a hard pass for me right now i do know that we need to farm the cannibal village sometime in the future but not right now and we shall now try out the canae fields canae starting out with the plains larva he is strength and he causes erosion and an aoe damage for 69 each so we in the first turn we lost about 200 hp yeah, which is not much they don't have very high resistances, so I should not be concerned at all. But what the thing they do have is they have a lot of lock. Yep, they have a good amount of lock. The Pliskin looks like bites once and he lowers down resistances, but the bite is not bad. But he does cause something called Venom. 9 to 12 damage. So we just got hit 34. Ah, air damage, not strength damage. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, lovely. He goes invisible. I don't like that. Ah, good. Word of Silence has revealed his position. Very liking this skill right now. And that's that for that fight. We completed the challenge, which I didn't even notice because I don't. My, none of my spells actively reduce range. And it took us four minutes to kill three of them okay that's already concerning a bit how long will it take to fight even more 56k experience for only three of them and we got a bunch of different types of resources i already took a look at the bazinga thing wings and the fuzz the plains larva skin is useless to me maybe vega gear could be uh good but i don't know where to get green mouse all right plains larva skin is useless to me how about the tooth the tooth is also useless because it only creates this one item and whatever the heck that is pliskin skin is has 11 recipes let's ignore these it's used in tailoring lots in handyman mostly carving maybe four or five actual re actual recipes all right other than the bazinga thing creature and somewhat of pliskin skin well, this is not really all that oh there's the green mouse with the green mouse oh, okay nice this one also has three actual decent resources an eye wing an eye up wig which we don't need but it says someone's following you which is weird eco flip ball a veta gear and the shovel which looks like a decent upgrade for either the inu or the Aini if we can craft it of course uh we'll do a handful of these uh basically just looking for more bees mice and snakes Random quest in the middle of the field completed. Ara villain, the Annie just hit level 80. Nice. We got this lift and word, which I think is just basically swap. That brings our crew to level 80 range. Oh, that's interesting. We were doing blacksmith dungeon and I got this little map called Dark Miner's Treasure Map. Interesting. Let's see what this is actually is. Maybe it will actually lead us to some treasure. 
Ah, this time around, we completed first. Probably because we're level 80 and we're much stronger than we used to be. But we got those extra smithing chest locks just in case we needed them.